I think it's important that I add some additional um, whiteboard footage of the counters that teams will try to use against you and how to act accurately and efficiently um, match it so that we get into our home base Y position and ultimately, hopefully the ball in the corner, our home base triangle position. Um, the ball's been passed to the wing and, and three is guarding that. One of the things that teams will try with drive and kick, read and react, DDM style offenses is, as this dribble takes place, this post player will step to, to the ball side elbow. Um, if five leaves to help, as we've done before against the three out set, then it will be difficult to accurately f fill the Y or fill the triangle. It will also be, there will be the potential that uh, five will leave and nobody will fill fast enough and so the ball gets where we don't want it and that's in the middle. In order to make sure that that doesn't happen, we're gonna ask five to step up with their player. You'll see it in the B drill. You'll see that player asked to step up. And the key there is that four needs to recognize that if, if X5 steps to the top of the triangle, four needs to fill his spot on the bottom. Two, as he sprints to the middle, says, they filled that spot and this spot. I need to drop down and I need to fill that spot. So now the triangle is filled and that's the, and that's the key on the wing drive. They need to recognize that five has stepped up and so that pass is no longer open. They have to recognize that four stepped over, so two steps down and now we're in our home Y position. As the dribble gets to its second spot, then the help double occurs with three and four. And then we've got the option to release middle, or we've got the option to release to the top. And I left out the position over here. So in other words, if you look back at the circle video, Three would release to the top and one would release across. If you're using middle release, three would release here and five would release out, or you would leave five here. The third option is to run three all the way through because you don't want five to come out of the middle. Again, it depends on your personnel. What I have found is the key to this is recognize that they've cleared the low post. Recognize that they've cleared the low post. Sometimes with my players, if you look at college footage from my junior college team, you'll hear me say, who's in the hole? Who's in the hole means that the opponent has cleared out the low block and they're making us make a decision where we're gonna help from, okay? They're creating a tough rotation. If we recognize that that's what the other team is doing, and we simply step up, fill the triangle, fill the triangle, then, as you can see over here, that doesn't become a problem, and we get the ball double, help double. And then we've got release options, either middle and across, in a, in a middle release switch, three going all the way through, which is a middle release uh, run through, is what we, that's what I call it, or they, you can go back to your old circle release, circle release, leave five there, three to the top, one to the side. So again, goes back to what I talked about earlier, coaches' choices on the release, which makes best use of your personnel, but this strategy doesn't hurt us when they clear out the low block if we're smart enough to recognize it and fill the triangle. Um, as your players play the swarm longer, they will get to the point where their swarm IQ is higher and they'll understand how opposing teams are trying to attack them and they will adjust in advance.